Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can batch import bills from text and Excel files into QuickBooks Online using Access Online. So before I do that, I'm going to show you a bill in QuickBooks Online so we can get familiar with the structure of what a bill is. So I'm going to add a new bill and you'll see here that it has header fields like the vendor or the the company that you're purchasing the items from. Um, it's got terms, date, and so on, which are standard fields. And then what you'll notice is it has two groupings for the what we call the detail lines of the bill. Now this might be for um, you know um, expense type items that are recorded on a bill. So we could say record a fifty dollar charge for um, telephone, and then you can also record here items that you may be purchasing for use within the business or for resale. So for example, so we might be purchasing, you know, a dozen of these blue widgets um, and you can re actually record the cost of that here. Now that's important because when we come to importing, there are certain sets of fields that you'll need to map in order to import into these categories. So let's go into Access Online so once in Axis, we're going to create a new axe. I'm going to select that button here, and I'm going to press the Create. I'll give my axe a name. And then I'm going to select the file that contains. So I've got a sample text file here um, that I'll use to upload. Now that's successfully uploaded into Axis. We'll click Next. So in this step, we're going to say whenever we upload the bill file, we're going to create a bill. Now in this section is where we need to map the fields that are on the bill in QuickBooks in this section here against the columns in the file that I've uploaded. So we know that the document number is going to go against the document number. What you'll notice is these are grouped into particular sections. We have a header section, we have a table section, and then we have a footer section. And you can expand each of these. So I'm also going to need, I'm going to map in the transaction date. And you'll notice that this icon here shows that this field is mandatory. And you need to map this into in order to successfully create bills in QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to go through and complete the mapping. Now you don't need to map all of these fields, but the ones marked with the exclamation mark are mandatory. Now we're going to map in the item here. So these are four items that we're purchasing. Um, and we'll put in a quantity and a description. So what you'll notice, once we've mapped the line item fields we also need to map the line item amount so we're going to put that in against line item amount here we're also going to include some rows for the account or the category splits here so we know we in our sample file we have some details for that so i'm going to map in here the line account now you don't always have to do this but it's um, on your row, you'll need to have either the line account or the line item. So I'm going to map in the line account amount here. Now, many bills may only actually be for the expense accounts. I'm going to show you this more complex example so you can understand what's involved. So once we've completed the mapping, I'm going to save that. And we can filter and see just the fields that we've mapped and he'll give you a summary of those. So we've got a group of items and we've got a group of accounts as well. So before we continue, we also have the ability to put in what we call constant values. So say you wanted to um, only use one particular date. So I could set that to, and that would apply to all rows on the import file as it's imported. You also have the ability to, what we do is um, create a function. So that would be a search and replace function. So if we had a vendor name that we want to replace with something that actually matches what we have in QuickBooks, we can set f functions there to do that. 
So I'm going to click Save, click Next. Access will open the details of the bill so you can see what has been mapped and what will be imported. And we can review that. And we also have the ability to edit that if we need to. So we can go through and change any of this particular detail. So for example, I may want to, um, you know, change this particular item to and so once we've reviewed that and we're happy with it so once we've selected the data that we want to import we click on the import button access will validate that and then it will begin a process of importing that directly into your quickbooks online company file and you'll notice the two bills that we've imported here so if i click on this button here it will open up QuickBooks Online and show us the bill that we've just imported. And you can review that to make sure it's in the correct format. You also have the ability to undo those bills if we needed to, to roll it back if it wasn't exactly how it was supposed to appear. So that's very simply how you can use access to import bills into your QuickBooks Online company file using Access Online.